Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. on guys it's zerks coming at you today with another youtube video and today we have the new ultimate legends in the game but also i have compiled a list of all the unreleased golden ticket players that i could actually find to showcase you guys their stats so i'm gonna go over those then we will get into the ultimate legends and everything but I do plan on doing a $500 pack opening later today if you guys want to see it to kind of, you know, go into golden tickets. We have ultimate legends in the game today as well. So if you guys want to see it, drop a like in the video. I have not said a like on a video in so long. Can we add 2K likes in the video? That should be easy for you guys. 2K likes in the video, and I will drop that $500 pack opening later today. We do have LTD Dwight Freeney. We have Will Shields and Patrick Willis, but of course, there's a bunch of golden tickets and packs. Five GTs, maybe not the most crazy expensive, but... Still fun to do. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Andre Allen for being a part of the Noti Gang. If he has one chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Let's go over those unreleased golden ticket player stats, and then we'll hop into some packs. All right, guys, so here are all of the unreleased golden tickets that I could find. These are not all of the unreleased GTs because obviously some of them, you know, people may not even have social media, whatever. Uh, the Zeke one we actually only found out because a sub of mine played somebody that had GT Zeke and he got the screenshots from him so big shout out to him we'll get to that but this is tim tebow uh this is actually from dom's video so make sure you guys go and check out dom's video he did do a tim tebow gameplay did early gameplay and i think he may even have strong safety dk metcalf too so check out dom's channel but you guys see tebow stats he does have 99 trucking 99 juke move we boosted truck juke move and break tackle on tebow he's also got 96 carrying they kind of did him dirty on the carrying it should have been like 98 99 to be completely honest you guys and you guys can see in terms of his throwing stats, he has 98 short base, 96 medium, and looks like 95 deep with 99 throw on the run, 99 break sack, 99 break tackle, and 99 throw under pressure. Now, of course, Tebow, of all the Golden Ticket quarterbacks, I believe does have the slowest release, but it is what it is there. And you guys can see there's more of the card art right there. And he does actually have 92 speed base. And you guys can see right here, here is the top of the card for those of you guys that want to see it. So he has 88 strength, 92 agility, 92 speed. 95 acceleration base so to be honest they, they kind of did him dirty on the speed and the acceleration too because he definitely should have been like a mid maybe like 95 speed ish uh to be completely honest you guys but tebow is a tank of a qb now as for a couple of other ones here is free safety grant Del Pitt, you guys can see the back of the card. He's got 96 speed, 98 Excel. And if you're wondering how we actually got these unreleased cards, it's just from them being thrown up in the auction house or like the Zeke one was actually someone uh, playing somebody that had Zeke uh, because the unreleased GTs, if you got a golden ticket, like if you pulled a GT, you actually got your player yesterday. So he's got 96 speed, 98 Excel, 99 tackling, 97 play rank, 99 pursuit, 95 man, 99 zone, and 99 hit power. So we can get 99 man, zone, and hit power, which is awesome. And he's six foot three. But why not 97 speed? Also, you guys can see right here, he does have 84 block shed as well. Uh, he does have, you know, the 89 press on there. I believe they boosted the... I know block shed. I remember that one. I think it was tackling block shed. And I want to say man maybe i think were the, was the upgrades for him but you guys can see he's got 84 block shed and you can see as well if you're curious he does also have 91 change direction 83 spectacular catch there so the change of direction not very crazy now this is not the best picture ever but it is what it is here is the golden ticket zeke and you guys see right there brandon dc4l shout out to you uh for actually finding this zeke he literally played someone that had the golden ticket zeke so really awesome there but you guys see the stats on him 99 juke it looks like 97 spin base 99 carrying 99 trucking, 97 change of direction, and also his route running and stuff is actually pretty decent. It's at the bottom right there, 88 short, he's got 99 break tackle, 85 catch and traffic, 86 spectacular catch. Again, I apologize for it not being, you know, a really, really close up picture or whatever, but I just gotta do what I can do with the pictures that he gave me. So you can see 97 agility on him, he has 88 strength, looks like 97 speed and 97 acceleration, I believe. Either way, he's able to get to 99 speed and 99 excel. Next up, we've got golden ticket jim thorpe now i believe this one was made by the person that gut fox was helping i believe so shout out to gut fox you guys see right here though cornerback thorpe they did the card dirty he's got only 96 speed and 99 excel 
And unfortunately, guys, he's only got 91 zone. They didn't decide to boost zone because obviously you don't really need the touch like man and zone on corners. EA or we all just kind of expected EA to naturally boost that up. And they didn't touch the zone, and it's only a 91. EA did a couple of these golden tickets dirty, not gonna lie. He's got 97 press, 98 man. You know, he's six foot one, 97 play rank, but the 91 zone and only 96 speed is just crazy to me. He does, however, have 99 hit power with 88 blocks. He had 97 press. I mean, it's a great physical corner, but not 99 zone is so tough. Next up, we've got Golden Ticket, Jalen Rager. Now, this one was also done with Swift. So, shout out to Swift. Uh, this card, to be completely honest with you, I'm going to show you Golden Ticket Ayuk is basically a worse Ayuk that can't run block, or at least not as good at run blocking. Jalen Rager here, 98 speed, 99 XL, 99 jumping, 95 catch, 95 catch traffic, 96 spec catch, 97 short, 95 medium, and 99 deep. So, you can get 99 for all the routes. Catching traffic, only a 95, though. And you can see 98 Juke. Uh, he does have 93 carry, 98 change of direction. He's pretty good after the catch, to be honest. Honestly, guys, but you see the run block there of a 50 and a 49. Well, here is Brandon Ayuk, 98 speed, 99 excel, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 99 short, 96 medium, 96 deep, 98 catching. Very, very similar to Jalen Rager, uh, but then you guys can see as well, after the catch, he's incredible. 98 spin, 99 juke, 98 carry, 97 change direction, also has 99 break tackle, but he can run block really, really well. 78 run blocking, 62 impact block. To be honest, I actually really like this card. I, I think it's actually a really, really good card. So, Brandon Ayuk a much better Rager. And the final one that I could give for you guys is Derek Robertson. Now, this is one that I helped make as well. Uh, now, with the Derek Robertson, this is actually, his cousin decided to make this card. So, it's a really cool card. We boosted the block shed. We boosted the power movement. And we boosted the zone coverage on him, hoping he would get, you know, mid-90s block shed and hopefully 90s zone we were really hoping for. They didn't do the card like that. They gave him 91 block shed, so definitely bad there. But he's got 92 speed, 98 excel, 85 strength, 91 block shed, 99 power move, and finesse move. And you guys see his zone, it's only an 82. So again, I mean, like the stats that were, chose, that were chosen to be boosted on these cards, they didn't super juice them as much as we wished. And on other cards, they didn't juice up just the regular stats as much as someone may have hoped. So those are the GTs that I could find. So those are the unreleased golden tickets that I could find to showcase for you guys. As I said, I do plan on doing, you know, a $500 pack open later today. So we're not going to do a bundle to start off this morning. However, I'll do a couple packs and then we'll do some training varieties. But I have a question, okay? If you guys have open packs, and I know a lot of you guys have pulled golden tickets in the past like day or two here. How many of you guys actually pulled a GT out of a regular pack? Because I will say, I think about 99% of the tweets at me uh, the past day of pulling a golden ticket had been out of training variety packs. Like, I haven't really seen them actually coming out of regular packs. So, if you did pull one out of a regular pack, please let me know down below as you get a 93 overall Will Shields right there. I'll do one more UL Fantasy pack, and then we're going to hit the training varieties, because it seems like that's where the GTs are at. I don't know. It, it just seems like that's the golden tickets are at. And, of course, the LTD for today, uh, the ultimate LTD, Dwight Franey, he as well. He's in the training variety. Round two, though, we get a 90 overall Patrick Ricard. Okay. And a 96 London Fletcher. All right. Can I get rings? No rings, of course. 91 Travis Frederick. All right, so UL Fantasy Packs, first two, not too crazy. And by, I didn't even notice this until like later in the afternoon yesterday. I did not even notice the Training Variety Pack actually went up in price. It is now 2,500 training instead of 2,000. Yesterday, I was just so excited to get into ripping the packs, trying to pull GT. I didn't even notice the price actually uh, increased on the Training Variety Pack. I was just straight up ripping it. So yeah, the packs are more expensive now. And the only thing that really got added in are GTs, which I, I guess, okay, I, I guess it makes sense for EA to go ahead and increase the price on these, but we'll do quite a few of these, then I'll hop over to the auction house and I'll show you guys the new Ultimate Legends for today. Hopefully we can pull at least one golden ticket today. I mean, if I do a $500 pack opening, $500 pack opening, I do not pull one, one GT, there's an issue. There is a major, major issue. Now, I know people that literally sat here like all day yesterday, just ripping training variety packs and, I mean, pulled a couple golden tickets. Three, four, five golden tickets. I've only got one, but if I sat here for a couple of hours just ripping this training variety pack, you probably get a couple. I even saw somebody that literally pulled back-to-back -back GTs out of training variety packs. You know how crazy that is to pull back-to-back -back GTs? That is so insane. As you get a 20,000 coin quick sell there. 
By the way, I did already do two gameplays already with Golden Ticket players. I have an AJ Brown one and RG3 one, and then also a James Morgan and tight end Robert Woods. I've been pumping out the gameplays. Make sure you guys go ahead and check those out as get 83 overall Xavier Rhodes. Now, one other thing I have seen a lot of questions about is Golden Ticket solos. Are we gonna get a free Golden Ticket? Are there gonna be Golden Ticket solos? I have no idea, guys. I have absolutely zero idea. They haven't said anything about it. I haven't seen a tweet about it or anything like that. Uh, it's possible that they're not going to announce it. They are maybe just going to wait until uh, the end of Golden Tickets, and then they'll be like, oh, you know, solos are out for a free one now. You can go ahead and include the solos. It's possible they are maybe planning to do that, so that way people will go ahead and continue to buy Golden Ticket players, because if you know you're going to get a free GT in a couple of weeks, are you going to go ahead and spend a million coins on it? Maybe not. Maybe you're just going to wait until you can get it for free or potentially get it for free out of Golden Ticket Solo. So I don't know if we're going to get a free GT this year. To be honest, I'd be kind of surprised if we didn't, especially with uh, how cheap these players are. It would kind of just make sense for EA to allow us to get a free one this year because it's not like they're losing out on us going and spending two, three million coins if the prices are going to continue like this where players are 300k, 350k for like James Morgan, AJ Brown, which I didn't really know how expensive these cards would be. I was kind of thinking more around six, 700k ish for you know someone like Robert Woods, whatever, but he's more around like 450, 500k. So it is definitely very, very interesting to see. And of course, this is the first week of golden tickets, so we really got to see how the market plays out as well. Once like the 48 hour boost is over, which is tomorrow at 10 30, they are still going to be in packs, but not at an increased pull rate. So let's go ahead and hit the auction house here. Now, real quick before I do go ahead and take a look here at the uh, ULs, I want to see something with the golden ticket. So right now it looks like Clowney. If you guys didn't know, Clowney actually, you can pull him now. 300K, AJ Brown, 320. James Morgan, 330. Mike Evans, Titan Robert Woods, 370K. Now, of course, RG3 is actually decently expensive. And it looks like he's even 800K right now, which he was really selling for like over a mil. Looks like no unreleased golden tickets up on the auction house right now. That's actually how we saw the uh, Brandon Ayuk was the owner posted it on the auction house yesterday. But if we take a look at the new ULs for today... What's the price looking like? Because I think a lot of people are probably ripping packs right now trying to pull GT still. And it looks like... Where are they at? Where are the new Ultimate Legends at? I don't believe that I have seen a new one just yet. There it is. Will Shield, 500,000 coins right now. 95 strength, 99 awareness, 96 pass block, 9 run block. It's an end game right guard. 76 speed, uh, 96 impact, 99 lead block. If you want a right guard, boom, there you go. Pick him up end of the year card right there Dwight Freeney he's got 93 speed 97 excel 95 block shed 99 finesse move absolute monster of a pass rusher and only 89 hit power though but tank absolute tank if you if you want to pass rusher for the rest of the year there you go and finally Patrick Willis for today not the most exciting much of ULs 95 speed 98 excel he does have 89 change of direction so not very good and he's you know 96 jumping but he's got 97 hit power 94 block shed 88 zone I mean, we're talking 98 speed and 99 acceleration on any team, so that is pretty good, but obviously, I still prefer to go with a safety. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. If you want to see me do a $500 pack of the day, drop a like in the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.